Hey everybody, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in, and for those of you who haven't visited the channel, welcome to x Rides Cars. Today, we'll go ahead and take a look at the 2017 Honda City. So this will be a full take at the city. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go to the performance stadium, as well as show you a bunch of the unique aspects of both the interior as well as the exterior. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Vehicle does come standard with the remote smart key access system, so all you have to do is keep the key fob in your pocket and locate the black button on the door handle to lock and unlock the vehicle. To lock, just simply tap the button. Three beeps indicate locking, then after waiting a second, just simply grab the handle and it automatically unlocks the vehicle. One beep indicates the unlock. It's a full white exterior featuring a full beige leather interior with black accents. Along with that smart key system, the vehicle also comes with remote push button ignition via the button in the dash. To start, all you have to do is simply put your foot on the brake, and as you put your foot on the brake, the button starts to pulsate white. Do that, hit the button to start. Beautiful sound from that one and a half liter four cylinder engine. The city comes standard with electric assist rack and pinion power steering on a three spoke steering wheel. The city also comes standard with a five speed manual, but this particular model comes with the optional two speed CVT transmission. You also get a decent handbrake and you have paddle shifters on the steering wheel. And so we'll go ahead and flip on the headlights. They are automatic, fog lights as well as the hazards. The driver's side window is fully automatic. So we'll go ahead and check out the exterior, shall we? The first Honda City was introduced in November of 1981 with the innovative Tallboy design. Of unusual height, it enabled four adults to fit comfortably in the very short city. Produced as a three-door hatchback in a variety of trim levels, the city was also available together with the Moto Compo, a special fold-away scooter designed to fit in the city's small luggage area. At the time of its introduction, it was Honda's smallest car, while not being in compliance with Japanese government K regulations. The Honda City Turbo was introduced in September of 1982, and also a Pininfarina-designed drop-top cabriolet utilize the wider fenders and a bigger bumpers of the Turbo 2 Bulldog. There was also a pro series of van versions with either two or four seats. A high roof R Manhattan roof version with a 10 centimeter taller roof also appeared. Exports of the city were primarily to Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. Honda replaced the original city in November of 1986 with the second generation city, and it did get an update in 1989. This model was produced until 1994. The fit name also first appeared as a trim variant of the second generation city. There was no convertible model, with both the convertible and turbo models of the previous generation continuing on sale for a little while. In this remodel, there are major changes in the appearance of the vehicle Honda called Crouching Form, which consisted of a low and wide design that contributed to lighter vehicle weight combined with improvements in driving performance. The styling reflects a corporate decision to enact a shared appearance with the first generation Honda Today key car. The internationally strong seller, 
the third generation subcompact Honda Civic, and the third generation compact Honda Accord Aero Deck. This generation shared its exterior and dimensions and engine size as well, almost exactly with the first generation Civic. The Honda CRX was the only three door hatchback that adopted a fastback, sloping rear hatch similar to the Honda Verno products during the mid 1980s. The third generation Honda City was based on the EF Civic platform. It was designed for and sold in the Southeast Asian market only. First, production began in an all new plant in Ayutthaya, Thailand in April of 1996. From the beginning, these Thai cities had more than 70% local content. The bumpers were constructed in three separate pieces to allow for easier shipping from Japan. There were originally a lower grade LXI and a higher spec EXI available. This generation vehicle was sold in Japan alongside the Honda Dormani at Honda Clio dealerships in Japan. This generation of city marked Honda's entrance in the Indian market in 1998 and it quickly became a success and one of the top selling cars in its segment. This city is still a subcompact slotting beneath the Honda Civic, but a four-door sedan instead of the hatchback, which is for developing markets in Asia and was built in India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Pakistan, and the Philippines. In Pakistan, the Honda City received a lukewarm reception at first, but the third generation was a massive hit. A revised facelifted third generation city was released in 2000 called the Type Z in some markets. The facelift model received new front end taillights as well as one piece bumpers. The fourth generation city made its world debut at the Bangkok International Motor Show in November of 2002. It gained the option for a four wheel drive version. It was imported from Thailand and launched as the Fit Aria in Japan on December of 2002. The word aria is a type of expressive melody usually heard in opera. Honda chose the word continuing its musical naming tradition used with the Honda Prelude, Honda Accord, Honda Ballad, Honda Quint, and even the Concerto. In China, the model was named the Fit Saloon and was sold from September 2003 to December of 2008. In 2005, a facelifted version of the city was launched in Thailand in October that year in Malaysia and November that year in Indonesia. In Thailand, it is known as the city ZX. The most significant changes are a new exterior with a new front grille, new headlamps, new fog lights, taillights, and bumpers, and also the exterior side mirrors became electronically foldable. Interior changes are minor, but it does include an armrest for the driver and additional map lights. The interior color tone of the VTEC variant became black. The fifth generation Honda City was unveiled in Bangkok, Thailand in September 2008, followed by launches in India, Pakistan, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, Singapore, and China in the following months. It is manufactured in a number of locations including Turkey, Thailand, Pakistan, and Brazil. Since it was launched in India in November of 2008, the city became the best-selling model of the company in the country, with sales volume even surpassing that of Thailand, previously the best-selling market for the city. The Honda City has become the leader in the mid-size sedan segment for a decade, with 35% market share in 2010. In India, it came with a 1.5-liter petrol engine, made it to a manual transmission and a CBT. Honda Cars India, which is of course the Indian subsidiary of Honda Motors, launched the facelifted 5th generation Honda City in India. The facelifted version was launched in India in 7 variants, all being powered by that 1.5 liter engine. The diesel version was offered with a 1.5 liter Earth Dreams DTEC turbo diesel engine from the Honda Amaze. The diesel versions were manufactured very few in hundreds and were given to only certain selected dealers in specific states of India. The 5th gen diesel was available on demand through the selected dealers and was launched in the starting days of January of 2014. Unveiled in India, the 6th gen city is Honda's second model to the new exciting H design 
and was first seen on the third generation Honda Fit or Jazz launched in September 2013. It won the award of Middle East Car of the Year 2014, and the new city is in its range-topping trim features, extensive premium equipments and kits, such as touch panel auto climate control, rear air conditioning vents, a 5-inch LCD display with navigation, Bluetooth audio, reverse camera, 8 speakers, and 4 power outlets. Based on the exciting H design philosophy, the sedan gave a more refreshing and a new premium look than its predecessor. It does have an increased height, but the rest of the dimensions remain the same. The 6th Gen City was launched in India during January of 2014 in 5 variants, E, S, SV, V, and VX, for both petrol and diesel. The petrol automatic will be available in SV and VX variants. The city has been popular in India, with sales doubling after it was launched with a diesel engine. March 2015 is when the city became the fastest selling compact sedan to reach the 100,000 mark in just 15 months. As of April 2015, the city was available with an additional trim VXO positioned above the VX. It comes in white orchard pearl with a touchscreen audio and video navigation system. The midlife facelift for the 6th gen city was launched in Thailand in January 2017. The facelift includes visual and equipment updates such as LED headlamps with daytime running lights and LED tail lights, similar to those found on the Japanese version, the Honda Grace. While the revised chrome bar grille is similar to that of its bigger sibling, the Honda Civic. Over 10,000 orders were received in less than a month after the facelifted Honda City was launched in February of 2017, making it India's best-selling mid-size sedan for the first half of 2017. With the facelift, Honda launched a new top-of-the-line ZX variant in India which comes with 6 airbags, rear parking camera, Honda's Digipad infotainment system, the city also comes with a full set of LED headlight, headlamps, and tail lamps, and also a sunroof. Cars exterior features have standard turn signals with LED daytime running lights, turn signal mirrors, chrome door handles. You also have standard tail lights. The city comes standard with 16 by 6 inch 5 triple spoke alloy wheels running on 185-55 R16 tires along with front solid disc brakes and rear drum brakes with anti-locking, electronic brake distribution as well as active brake assist. This vehicle has a length of 174.8 inches, a width of 77.4 inches, as well as a height of 58.9 inches running on a 102.4 inch wheelbase. Total curb weight can be around 24-40 pounds. We'll go ahead and pop the hood. The Honda City comes standard with a 1.5 liter 16 valve VTEC inline 4 cylinder engine. It produces 117 brake horsepower at 6600 rpm as well as 107 pound feet of torque at 4600 rpm 0 to 97 kilometers an hour or 0 to 60 miles an hour is rated at around 9.4 seconds with a top speed of 111 miles per hour this vehicle is front wheel drive and it has a 10.6 gallon tank requiring 87 octane or 92 ron petrol fuel epa estimated miles per gallon ratings are at around 41 average Open up the interior of the city, you get a pretty nice space, you have power windows, locks and mirrors, you got manual seats, you also got some storage pockets on the side. So we'll go ahead and shut it up. This Honda City does come with the standard Honda audio system, however it is pretty nice. Now you do have side curtain airbags, visors, 
the vehicle does contain airbags as well. Reading lights, you have a mirror. You also got a sunroof. It is fully automatic. Uh-oh. Now you do also have um, tilt. It's a pretty nice thing about the city. Now you do have your hazard switch and you have your infotainment system, which uses, of course, you have a browser, you have a night display, and you also have radio, media, navigation, There's also a Bluetooth connection on that. You have your single zone climate control, which runs on, which does run on a fan, his fan speed, temperature control. Along with that, you have a 12 volt power outlet, surprisingly, an HDMI port, and you also have two USB ports, two cup holders, transmission shifter, a little storage area. You got a stitched e brake, actually, just a standard vinyl e brake, small storage here, full center console. As far as your steering wheel, you have some very neat features. You have volume control seat track, cruise control, you also got voice command for your phone, as far as wipers, works normally, and of course you have of course washer fluid, and the indicators they do work normally as well, but if you pull it down halfway, it actually runs three times, so in the case of a lane departure, or in case of a lane change, it's much easier to control this way because it requires an excessive turn when of course you're making the indicator stop automatically so given that it has this control it's very it's much easier to be able to do that you also have other light controls as well mirror control economy mode all that alrighty we'll go ahead and shut her down So we'll go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Open up the back seat of the city, and you're greeted by a good amount of space. Little storage pocket. Two 12 volt power outlets. Also got a regular center console with cup holders. The city does have a good amount of cargo space for its size. You do get around 18 cubic feet or 510 liters of space which is actually pretty good. Underneath. You do have a full storage compartment for things like your jack storage and your spare tire as well. The passenger seat does feature slightly fewer manual adjustments. Full glove box. The City is a very unique vehicle. It is slightly smaller than the Civic, but still it makes a very good sedan for the money. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video of the 2017 Honda City. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's a lot more where all this came from. And be sure to subscribe today and check out all the future content coming to X-Rites Cars. Take care everybody.